My beloved child, I am here to restore all that you hold dear. Your finances, your soul, your mind, and your heart. I see the burdens weighing on your shoulders, and I promise to ease your load. The gates of heaven are open wide, ready to pour abundant blessings upon you. Understand this deeply. Do not follow the ways of those with corrupted souls, who chase empty riches and criticize the less fortunate. Your faith affirms my presence, and your heart confirms the truth of my words. If you accept my word, and my will, and place me first in your life, I will shower you with abundant blessings when you extend your helping hand to those in need. Indeed, I will bless those with pure hearts, those who rise each day with a sincere desire to grow and progress, guided by honesty and hard work. Do not forget these words. Let them echo in your mind daily. This message is meant for you, my dear child. I desire prosperity for you in every aspect of your life, just as your soul prospers. If you believe in my power to transform you, take a step forward now. I am extending my arms to show you the way. In my hands, I hold your liberation. Your life can change through faith, not your strength, but by trusting in my love for you and my limitless power. If you continue to believe you deserve the misfortunes that have befallen you, if you doubt my words and seek the counsel of those who do not have your best interests at heart, you will remain stagnant and enslaved. I want to set you free, but your adversaries sow doubt in your heart. Change your way of thinking. Surrender that struggling mind. Come with confidence. I will not judge you. Come tomorrow. You will hear my word, and your soul will grow stronger. We will journey together towards your freedom, one step at a time. I want you to experience my love, which will transform your heart and mind. I love your family and you love me. I will grant you victory and protection. The choice is yours now. Where will you turn? Do not flee aimlessly, thinking it will solve your problems. Listen to my guidance. Run into my loving arms. Here, you will find safety and peace. In this world, you may face adversity, but trust that I have conquered the enemy, disease, fear, and wickedness. I am your Lord your friend, your God. When you walk, I am always by your side. Even if you don't see it, countless victories have been achieved with my help in your daily life. Consider this. There are no limits for you if you put your faith into action. I have gifted you with my love, freedom, peace, joy, and security. But these gifts are not meant for you to sit idle fearing everything and missing the opportunities I have already given you. Rise and reach out your hand. Seize the blessings I have prepared for you. They are yours to share with those you love. Your spirit is stirred by my words. A flame reignites long-forgotten dreams and desires. Move forward, a life filled with excitement, joy, and rediscovered emotions awaits you. I will infuse you with such strength that you will feel the energy of your youth once more. Your spirit will be revitalized, your mind rejuvenated, and your entire being transformed. I am making all things new. I command you to rise, to be courageous, and to persevere. When you feel you can no longer bear it, it is time to take that leap of faith needed for triumph. From my throne flows a river of living water to quench your thirst and provide strength. I want you to live, to be happy, and to fulfill the purpose I have for you. No excuses, for you are not old, not finished, and never defeated. Stand up. It's time to triumph. Trust in me. Everything will turn out well. You await good news, and it will come soon. My power manifests in those who sincerely and simply believe in me. Miracles happen when you entrust your heart to me and have unwavering faith, banishing doubts from your mind and words. 
speak my word with faith, and proclaim, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and I will never be defeated. I want your heart to swell with a divine sensation that will remain with you, reminding you of my promises when faced with adversity. I command you to listen to me with all your heart each morning when you approach. I desire your well-being and foresee a future filled with harmony and prosperity for you. I desire no negative emotions in your family, no quarrels or divisions in your home. There are countless wonders I can perform in your tender and innocent heart, and this is how I wish for you to remain always. You will witness your enemies and false friends, those who mock you and consider themselves wise, but falter daily, falling before you. They may think themselves intelligent, yet they are despised. They may believe themselves wealthy and secure, but they dwell in a deep pit of spiritual misery, filled with hate and envy. You will always have my blessing, and though you may encounter opposition wherever you go, do not fear. They boast of what they lack and pretend to be what they are not. They may appear perfect on the outside, but inside they are full of sin. You are my child, and no one and nothing can stand against you, for I am your defender. You are not alone. You are not trusting in a God of your own creation. I am a living and mighty God, real and majestic. My love is true, and I have already shown you all that I can do for you. Do not be distressed, do not cry, and do not succumb to despair due to threats and lies. I am with you. I will deliver you from the attacks of evil, from danger, from scarcity, from death, and from decease. Accept my word. Receive my blessing. Declare your belief in me whenever you come to ask for something. Come with confidence. Show me your faith. Your gratitude is the most beautiful offering you can bring me. This moment we share is the most precious thing that can happen today. So do not approach with fear, for I will not reject you. Your sins have been forgiven and paid for with my precious blood. There's no need to feel ashamed in my presence. Even when you were distant and didn't think of me, I had mercy on you. I sent thousands of angels to rescue you from the clutches of the evil one, to clear obstacles from your path, and to bring you back to me. You will come again tomorrow. You will bring me good news. You will share the miracles you have gradually discovered. You will speak of the changes and beautiful things happening in your life. You will reaffirm your loyalty, and I will listen with great joy. I brought you here again to transform your life. You will not seek to fill the void in your heart with those who only wish to exploit your vulnerabilities. I am healing this wound, this emptiness within you. I am restoring your weary soul so you can live with vitality and confidence. You are now in a genuine and true relationship with me. Seek me daily. Fill yourself with my peace and nothing and no one will ever deceive you again. Embrace this true happiness through faith. And even if you cannot see or feel it yet, continue with joy, pursuing what you desire until the end. Receive this happiness through faith. I believe you already comprehend. You are not a product of chance. You are my child, my chosen one, and you know it well. I have shown you countless signs already. It would be a grave sin to be indifferent to my word and reject the miracles I intend to manifest in your family and within you. Sometimes you hesitate before an imagined barrier. I will bless you, and nothing and no one can hinder me. I have sent forth my word to be fulfilled in your life, and that word shall not return to me void. It will bring forth abundant fruits and miracles, victories and joys. I will unveil something marvelous to you, and once you grasp it, you will never be able to stay away from this beautiful love. I want you to feel my love. Immerse yourself in the river of my spirit, and be filled and content with this affection. 
I know you believe and have faith. You display it every day. You awaken with enthusiasm because you recognize my love for you and my constant presence. But I see that you expend great effort in your daily tasks, and despite your profound faith, you claim to be busy and neglect spending time with me. Your soul is slowly accumulating worries and fears that I had already removed. Without drinking from the living water I offer in prayer, your heart is drying up. You may not sense it now, you may feel well and strong due to your faith, but I caution you to be vigilant. Over time, you may wander if you lose that sacred yearning for my divine touch. Please understand that I desire your company, your presence in quiet communion. Seek me, and I will restore the peace, security, and truth within your heart that you need. As you immerse yourself in my love, you will no longer seek fulfillment from others. With my guidance, you will be guarded against deception and exploitation. You are my cherished child, and I am here to heal your pain, to restore your soul, to bring you peace, and to remind you of the true love that flows from heaven. Trust in my unconditional love, for I am always with you, ready to embrace you and fill your life with blessings beyond measure. My beloved child, I ask for a few moments of your precious time. Promise me that you will listen, for what I wish to bestow upon you is of utmost importance. You see, you have faith within you, a spark of divine potential. But now I urge you to open your heart and invite my Holy Spirit in. Through this sacred union, I will grant you a gift of divine power that will elevate your faith to perform miracles greater and more wondrous than anything you've ever known. Over two millennia ago, I made a promise to you, a promise that you would perform even greater miracles. If you do not fully grasp it yet, that's perfectly fine. There's no need for you to strive for these miracles with your own strength. This divine power is a gift, one that you shall receive on bended knee in prayer, with a heart ready to surrender everything for love. But heed my words, dear child, for I cannot bestow this beautiful gift upon a prideful spirit, a spirit that seeks approval and applause from vain individuals. I am searching for a humble and repentant heart, one that acknowledges its mistakes and seeks to serve me with sincerity and dedication, without craving recognition from others, without seeking human titles, awards, or trophies, and without making pacts with those who disguise themselves as angels of light to deceive my people. My gaze falls upon you, for I have found in you a heart ready to be molded. So come now, walk with me, step with bare feet on the shore of this river. Feel how this pure and clear water touches your skin tingling your senses. Walk slowly, let it wash over you, and immerse yourself. Allow the river to wet your head, cleansing your mind of all thoughts of defeat and impurity. Surrender your heart to me, and you shall receive power when my Holy Spirit envelops your entire being, your family, your life, your way of thinking, and your way of being. Everything shall be transformed. I shall grant you supernatural strength to conquer your fears. My blessings shall grace your home, and an array of beautiful and wondrous blessings shall unfold. The words you hear every day, they are planted deep within your soul, growing and strengthening. The fruit of your prayers is on its way, and a bountiful harvest awaits you. Your happiness shall be boundless, your mouth filled with laughter, and your heart resonating with praise. Therefore, do not be disheartened by the challenges that occasionally cross your path. Know this, my word does not return to me empty. It brings about numerous changes in your spirit, your finances, your family, and your life. Nothing shall remain the same. The flame that had been dimming shall be reignited. Even your physical body shall be infused with renewed energy. 
I am gifting you a new life, and I implore you to believe it, to not dwell on the past. My Holy Spirit resides within you, and you are a new creation. The old has passed away. Prepare yourself with renewed vigor to reap the abundant harvest that awaits. Remember, your life in this world is borrowed. Time is fleeting, yet you have a long journey ahead. I share this with you so you do not squander your hours. Cling steadfastly to the faith that resides within your soul. Take a piece of paper. Inscribe upon it your dreams, your prayer requests, and your beautiful desires, and bring them to me each morning. Approach each day with unwavering faith and enthusiasm. Be vigilant, for you shall witness the doors I shall open for you. Persist, my child. Do not falter. You must endure. Great changes are already in motion in the lives of those you hold dear. I am healing your finances and orchestrating events to restore harmony to your home. Every day I speak to you with this divine word, nurturing your soul and filling it with wisdom. Seek out good-hearted souls who reflect my peace and love, who love me as deeply as you do and are unafraid to proclaim the mighty name of Jesus. Let their lips refrain from slander and lies, and let their actions radiate my goodness. For where two or three gather in my name, I am present. I rejoice when my children unite in harmony. It is there that my power descends, and my supernatural presence pours forth healing and life. A time of miracles is dawning upon you. Release all your tensions, my child. Find solace within yourself, pay heed to your surroundings, and you shall begin to discern the onset of a new season filled with abundant blessings. I yearn to heal you, to dispel the sadness and depression that weigh upon your soul. I shall liberate your mind from oppression. Come into my presence, let your emotions flow freely, weep if you must, release those trapped emotions, and make space for the truth. You shall be well, your circumstances will change, I shall alleviate your pain and your life will brim with joy. I love you deeply, and I implore you, demonstrate your surrender and faith by allowing me to remove all that impedes your happiness. Let my will be done. Your plans, dreams, future, and projects have all been touched by my divine power. I am leading you toward a better life, but I beseech you to believe it and not dwell on the past. Deep within your soul, you yearn for my love. I recall when you had unwavering faith in me as a child. You recited my word with devotion and sang my promises etched upon your heart. Do you remember? God is love, you cried out with joy. God is good, you declared with fervor. Yet as you grew, you entered an era of disappointments. Those you cherished failed you, shattering your spirit. Those who professed love inflicted great pain. Much time has elapsed, but here we are today. I extend an invitation for you to return to me, to banish the sorrow that plagues you. I shall place individuals in your life who will extend their hands in support. Each day I shall come early, shrouding you in my love. Know this, I love you immeasurably, and I want you to feel it today. Here is my promise. You shall find immense happiness. Even when it remains unseen, I am filling your heart with faith and hope. You require my presence within your soul. When you feel that circumstances spiral out of control, in this very moment, I shall grant you peace and serenity. Embrace the tranquility I offer. I am showcasing my love by fulfilling my promise and guiding you to victory after victory to the place of your blessing. Heaven and earth may fade away, but my word remains unaltered. My promises endure. The covenant of salvation I forged with you shall come to fruition, even if adversaries attempt to thwart it. Tell me now, do you truly believe, and are you willing to accept the changes I shall bring into your life? Forgive those who have caused you pain, 
even if others refuse to forgive you. Pray for them. I too wish to bless them, and you shall be the instrument to extend aid in their time of need. You are living in a period filled with challenges, and I have selected you to be a beacon of blessings, my child. I am your fortress, your rock, your strength. Though thousands may falter by your side, and tens of thousands on your right hand, no harm shall befall you unless I decree it. Believe it, for it is true. Even amidst trying and painful moments when you feel you can no longer continue, you shall rise. Joy and strength shall fill your being. The days of sorrow shall pass. Prepare yourself for the cascade of blessings, the downpour of goodness that shall envelop your life. You require a miracle, and it shall arrive soon. You have come to the right place, and your attitude is commendable. As you retreat to your room, in silence and secrecy, offering your worship and laying your soul at my feet, pouring out your pain and needs, I take great pleasure in witnessing your faith and trust. At times, you cannot share your burdens with anyone. Only you and I are privy to your struggles. You bear this weight on your shoulders, but I am here to assist you. You have sought me wholeheartedly, and I shall never withhold my response. You require my outstretched hand to free you from the shackles of your afflictions, the confusion that clouds your mind, and the anxiety that grips your heart. You thirst for my power, hunger for peace and tranquility, to close your eyes at night and awaken to the dawn with joy. This, my child, is my response to your yearning. Hold tightly to the faith that sustains you, the promise I have bestowed upon you. I am your advocate, your defender. I am your shepherd, your provider. I am your God, your protector. I am your friend, and together we shall rejoice when the blessings you've awaited knock upon your door. I pledge to you that you shall receive them. I guarantee it. Many things shall change. Allow my promises to occupy your thoughts, to heal you, and to renew your mindset. Alter your response when obstacles arise. Remember that I shall never abandon you. Even in the midst of daunting trials, you can clasp my hand, for you are not alone. You are not forsaken. You hold great worth in my eyes. You are my cherished child. I reiterate this so you shall never forget. Recall my promises. They are good, tangible, potent, and true. My covenant is unbreakable, my commitment eternal. I shall forever be with you. Abundant harvests shall be yours to reap. Raise your gaze and take courage. Do not succumb to fear or discouragement. Embrace your blessings with love and humility. Many refuse them, feeling unworthy. They believe themselves unprepared, and they let blessings slip through their grasp only to lament later that I did not heed their pleas. Through my precious blood, I have loved you, forgiven your sins, and recognized your sincere faith. You have learned to take my word seriously, a word that transforms and liberates you. My love has deemed you worthy. Do not condemn yourself for the past. Do not be concerned with the opinions of others, when your Heavenly Father has already pardoned you. If you have sought forgiveness and others have refused to grant it, if you have already paid the price for the pain you've caused, and yet people still accuse you, entrust them to me. I shall handle them with justice. You must press forward, even if they are friends or kin. You are advancing toward the future, while they shall remain mired in their failures when given the opportunity to distance themselves from negativity, they opted to ignore me and follow foolish paths. They turned their backs on me to appease others. Thus, they remain blind to your journey. Should you persist in associating with these negative influences, they shall burden you with guilt and remorse for the past, impeding your progress. 
I do not desire such an outcome. I want you to maintain your faith regardless of others' opinions. Visit my presence daily. Do not overlook this crucial rendezvous between us. Here, I shall eagerly await you. So, my beloved child, come to me. Let your heart open to receive the strength, the power, the love, and the blessings I am eager to bestow upon you. Trust in my unwavering love, for I, your Creator, your Heavenly Father, am here for you, and I shall never forsake you. Together, we shall walk this path hand in hand, as you journey towards a brighter, more blessed future. Amen.